Alrighty, so I've got my website set up and I'm pretty happy with this contact form. It's quite simple, but when I fill it out, um, it sends an email to my email address. And so what I want to do now is host it. And because I'm using AWS Amplify for the uh, email handler with a Lambda function, um, I also want to use AWS Amplify to host this. Uh, now this is a Next.js app, um, which can be hosted through um, AWS Amplify. And so we're going to see how to do that now. So here's my server um, locally. Um, just make sure you cancel that. Make sure you're in the right branch, obviously. And what you need is you need um, to have a GitHub repository or a Git or any sort of um, Git repository set up um, for your um, application. In my case, it's here, Still Scripts, Still Scripts website. So here it is. And just want to run Git status. Just check that, yep, everything's updated. So happy with that now. So what I want to do is go amplify, add hosting. So just like you go amplify, add API, in this case, amplify, add hosting. All right, so then we want to either use uh, hosting with the Amplify console or um, Amazon Cloud Front and F and sorry, and S3. Um, in this case, I'm going to go hosting with the Amplify console. So when you click this, it's going to give us an option for uh, manual deployment or continuous deployment, which is Git based deployment. That's what I'm going to use. It's definitely the best option in my opinion. Um, so select that. And now what it's doing basically is opening up um, AWS Amplify for us and it's opening up um, the Amplify project that we've set up, the, the Still Scripts website in my case. And um, what it's saying. Okay, for some reason it's open up to the backend environments, but just go to hosting environments. And then we can choose obviously GitHub, Bitbucket, GitLab, or, or, or others. Um, in my case, I'm using um, GitHub for my repository. So I'm going to select GitHub. And again, obviously, you know, you got to make sure you're in the right account and all that, logged in. Uh, connect branch. Uh, I'm just going to give um, AWS Amplify permission from GitHub. So authorize that. <laughs> okay. So now I just need to select the repository. All right, so now it should be authorized. And yeah, there we go. So now I'm just gonna select the repository and it's gonna be there you go, top one. <laughs> Still scripts website. Branch master, that's the only branch I've got. And let's go next. It's auto detected my build settings. And yep, I'm happy with all that. And so you can obviously edit this if there's any issues, but my directory is uh, dot next, yarn run build, and yarn install, the you know, install and build commands. And yep. So then next. It's pretty amazing, as you can see. It's it, it auto detected that it's a front end framework using Next.js. Um, yeah, just dev environment. Enable full stack continuous deployments. Um, this is AWS console backend role that's been set up. And I'm going to click next. Okay, so um, you can triple check everything, but yeah, it's all good. Go save and deploy. Awesome. All right, so it's deploying it now. I can go back to my console and click enter.
All right, so then what we can see here is that it's um, it's currently in the process of building, but it's setting up a domain with my um, master branch, and you can see the domain is uh, master dot random um, key and then amplifyapp.com. So this is going to be the default URL for the website that we've set up. So then all we need to do um, after this, once this has been set up, is set up an actual custom domain uh, so that the website's connected with you know the domain name that you want it to be connected with. And then that's it. Right now we can see that it's currently in the process of building this app. It usually takes around anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes uh, to build. And so it's just in the process of building and I'll come back once this is all done. All right, so as we can see, it's been successful. It's uh, provisioned, build, deployed, and verified. And we can see here, this that's the domain, master um, amplify app. So if we click that, it's taking a little bit to load everything because it's only just been added. But awesome, there we go. So this website that was uh, local, and sorry, that was local and was put in my repository is now um, fully set up. And, and there we go, and there's that contact form. All right, so super happy about that. Now this, um, this is great to use, obviously, if you're just um, still testing your website and whatnot, but when you want to go live and you want to actually um, have it set up to a custom domain, uh, that's when you need to obviously set that up. So if we look here in domain management, uh, we can see we need to add a domain. And yeah, we can see we need to add domain and um, we can see we need to use Amazon Route 53. So the way to do that is to um, go to Route 53 in your console. And there's basically two situations. One is that you've bought the domain um, that you own directly within this AWS account. Um, and the other way is you might have bought it with like Google domains or some other service and you need to connect them. Great. So if you look in here, you can see um, on the sidebar, I'm just, I've just clicked registered domains. And as we can see, I own the domain stillscripts.com. That's the domain that I'm going to be using. Um, now, you don't have to own the domain within here. It makes it a little bit easier, but yeah, you don't have to own the domain within here. What you have to do is you have to go to hosted zones. And as we can see, I've already, I've already set up still scripts as a hosted zone. Um, and I have another domain here, which is not through um, AWS. What I'll do is I'll just um, I'll just show you what it would look like if we were to create it still scripts.com. You can add a description. Obviously, it's optional, and it's a website, so it's going to be a public hosted zone. You can add tags if you want, and then just click create hosted zone. Um, I've already set mine up, so we're not going to do that. All right, so anyway, I've got this hosted zone set up, stillscripts.com. So now if you go back to your Amplify app, and if we click Add Domain, and then we can see I've got it auto-completes there. I'm just going to go Still Scripts, and go Configure Domain. Yep, and we want um, the, the base one, and we also want www. We don't need to add any more. Yep, all the defaults are great. Click Save. And now what it's doing is it's automatically creating us um, the SSL certificate, configuring it. So things like um, yeah, SSL certificates and, and um, also using CloudFront for hosting are automatically done through AWS, uh, which is awesome. So you're out of the box, you're going to get uh, a website which is um, fast because it's using CloudFront for its hosting um, and um, it's secure because it's using SSL by default. Everything's taken care of for you. So I'll come back in a sec once this is done. All right, we can see here that um, yeah, SSL configuration has happened and now 
this isn't great, but we can see we verified domain ownership. We are propagating your custom domain to our global content delivery network, which could take up to 30 minutes. So I'll leave it here. And yeah, hopefully if this all works, then um, my custom domain will redirect to um, to what this website is. And yeah, and people will be able to visit, visit um, this website. Okay, so the um, domain process is completed. And as we can see now that um, a custom domain has been set up, it's available. It's got, um, you know, the normal URL and then also www. The URL. And um, yeah, it's connected to this um, Amplify app domain, um, which is the default domain that we were given. So now for the moment of truth, I haven't tested this yet. It should work. A little bit slow, obviously, because everything's just been set up. Um, but yeah, there we go. So awesome. Again, the images are a bit slow. <laughs> Everyone's just got set up. Great. Now, one thing that's really cool is if I um, click open new tab. Yeah, there we go. We see this is all set up. Now, if, you, if you're wondering where, like where the images are being hosted, type in CloudFront. So basically, uh, Amplify, when it hosts your website, automatically sets up an S3 bucket uh, to store all the files associated with the website. If you're using Next.js and there's um, like server-side rendering, um, it uses uh, Lambda at Edge basically to set up um, Lambda functions to handle all the server-side related um, yeah, method calls. And it uses CloudFront for hosting uh, everything. So yeah, if you, if you check out this page, Amazon CloudFront, um, basically it's a global CDN, um, which uses caching and whatnot to make it so that your website gets delivered uh, and, and the website files get delivered quickly to your users. So it's really awesome. Okay, so now the only last thing to test is to um, try the contact form. So I'm just gonna open up the console go. I'm going to go down to the contact form and let's just try um, hosted test. So I'm going to check that now that it's in a live environment that the contact form is still working. Let's go submit. Uh, this error is still there. Again, it's not um, relevant. It's just a warning. And there we go, response has been returned. You can see the message ID. And that should send an email any second now to my email address. There it is. Yeah, there we go. Contact message from hosted test. Uh, this is a test from hosted at Gmail. You can reply if I want. And yeah, that's all we need to do. So, so yeah, now thanks to Amplify. Um, I've got my website hosted with a custom domain and I'm able to process form submissions from this contact form. And yeah, and of course, you know, the, the design and, and whatnot's done just using uh, React, using um, Next.js and whatnot. So um, if I go back to here, we can see um, in Amplify, it basically just shows the hosting environment which is now set up with this GitHub repository. Um, and each time I want to push changes through, it's going to rebuild um, based on that. And if we look in backend environments, um, we can see that I've got a function um, and the uh, API, which is used to call the function. And um, we can see the name of the function there and we can view it in Lambda. Or we could also view it in CloudWatch. Um, and yeah, so basically, in a nutshell, Amplify gives you, um, for front-end developers, really um, good, easy access to using um, as many, many, many um, AWS services, including uh, what we've used is API Gateway and Lambda, um, and we've used SES um, in the Lambda function. Um, we've, it's using um, S3 and CloudFront for hosting, and then using Route 53 for the domain um, as well. 
and yeah so i hope this was helpful i'm pretty excited to have uh, my website live now and obviously i still got some things to work on with it but yeah so hope this was helpful